Um, you know, Steve, just reporting on, talking obviously a lot about inflation. So if we could just start there in terms of cost pressures that you've seen. I believe you raised your menu price about over 4 percent. Is that enough in terms of dealing with the inflation you've seen on, on the other side of your business? Hey, good morning, David. Yeah, um, when we look at inflation and, and what's been happening with the, you know, the cost structure, we look at it in really two parts, labor and really the commodity side. And with labor, we know those, those, those increases aren't coming back. Wages aren't going to come down, and that's fine. We price for that. And the 4% should, should be plenty to cover those pieces of it. Cost of sales a little bit more uh, interesting, and we, we look at those commodity prices, and we think there's probably opportunity for some of that to come back um, as the economy and the supply chain kind of writes itself a little bit. And so we don't necessarily price for all of the headwinds we're experiencing there. We'll, we'll, we'll be a little more cautious there. Our, our pricing strategy is to, you know, continue to provide the best value for our guests and to make sure that as the economy comes back and people get back to work, that we continue to, 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 to beat the industry and drive traffic into our restaurants. And so we're, we're a little bit more cautious than some on how aggressively we price. But as we see things start to be more permanent, we'll, we'll price for that. We feel good about where we're at. We also get a real upside advantage as guests come back into dining rooms. You know, it's a little different from other models. You know, the difference between our takeout business and our dining business is fairly significant with regard to, to, to check averages. And so we're excited as dining rooms start to get busier again, as, as Omicron starts to move out, uh, we see a lot of upside demand for people coming back into the dining rooms, and that helps our business a lot. So it's not just the price increase that matters. Right. Well, talk to me about traffic. Are you seeing return to levels that you saw a couple of years ago? Where are we in that, uh, in that progress you're talking about? Yeah, we are. You know, we, this, through this whole COVID journey and the roller coaster we've been on for the last two years, whenever COVID starts to, you know, dissipate and we get the, uh, a little less of a headwind there, we, we, we absolutely see the traffic coming back to levels that are pre-pandemic. Now, we've been outperforming the category for the last four years on traffic because it's really key to our strategy. But that, that dining room traffic is really what's important for us. And as we see the, the impact move back down, like we did in December, even, even in our Maggiano's business, which is heavily uh, kind of, it leverages banquets and, and large parties, you know, early in the holiday season, there was a lot of interest in that. And, and we saw guests coming back and made a big difference. Hey, Wyman, we had a discussion this morning about Tyson uh, and their earnings. And their year-on-year -year margin went from 6 to 11, um, yeah. which uh, sort of flies in the face with all the pressures that we keep hearing about. Do you think, not, not Tyson, but do you think some of your suppliers are using the environment as a bit of a grab? You know, I, I don't want to, I just think some of these prices are coming down. You know, I think the economy's got to, you know, stabilize itself. We'll get the workers back in. But, yeah, I, th I think the, the capital uh, markets will kind of right themselves, and, and we will start to see some of these over uh, what I would call aggressive increases in prices that are not justified with just the labor increases. We'll start to kind of mitigate. That's why we're not necessarily pricing for all of that um, immediately. We're going to wait and see because we don't want to get ourselves ahead uh, of some of these uh, costs if they come back down and we want to make sure our consumers get a great value every day. Wyman, I just wanted to follow up on that. What are you currently seeing with regard to kind of the permanence of these price increases given that take of, you know, the ability for these prices to work themselves out? I feel like we've been, heard that for about a year now. Do you think it's actually true this time? Well, again, I think you've got to look at the various components. I think labor is not coming down and, you know, you, you know, wages go up, they don't come down. So those are permanent and that's fine. And we price for those. And, and that's, a, you know, a, actually a good thing to some degree on the economy that, you know, that people have more money in their pockets as the inflation starts to come back down, that gives them more money to spend in our restaurants. Again, some of these commodity prices, we just talked about an example, I think they're going to, they're going to come back to a more reasonable level. I don't think they may come all the way back to the pandemic, but, you know, we're, we're seeing some extremely high inflationary prices on certain commodities and they tend to they tend to spike and come back down so we're watching that and we think that will happen um so yeah i, the, I know we're not talking transitory anywhere anymore but that really is i think there are some uh costs that that are going to come back down